it's Anon White's RC, and this is my level 1 to 99 divination guide. So in this video we'll cover everything including the training methods and also the rewards. You can also click the link in the description to go check out my brand new website called reigningchain.com where you can find out many calculators including one for divination. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the influences. So stuff you can do before training divination that will be quite useful. The first and probably the most important one is the enhanced walk twist. So to get one, you will need to have at least level 70 to enter and catch 1000 charm sprite. If you don't really know how to do that, you can simply click the annotation on the screen to go check out my charm sprite guide. But long story short, by having this in your equipment, you will get 5% bonus hunter experience. You will see why later in the video, why it's so useful. Another great thing um, to have completed is Wall Gothic Sleeps, the quest to unlock the 6th age circuit that will be useful for teleporting. There's also the fairy rings from Fairy Tales Part 2 that are useful, and the ectophile from Gus Aoi that will be also useful for teleportation. After that, there's also the Ring of Sling after completing the quest Smoking Kills and unlocking the ability for 300 Slayer Points. Um, there's the Enchanted Water Tiara after completing dealing with scarabs that will be useful when you will train in the desert so you won't die and won't have to bank and finally the dig side pendant from the dig side for teleportation okay so now let's talk about the basics of divination so there are two main ways to train the skill you can either collect energy from the rift which is by far the best way to train and this is by far the best divination experience but there is also a second way which is by using the energy you will have collected to do many useful things. However, this is very bad experience. It's more useful for other skills like you will see in the reward section. So before we get started, I just want to go um, over some words or definitions. So first of all, what is a rift? Um, it's a place, like you can see on the screen, the little icon, it's green, where you will deposit the memory. Um, there's also springs which will be around the rift which will be the source of those memories and energy um, When training divination you get two types of resources The first one is the memory which is untradeable and non-stackable item The only purpose of memory is to put them into the rift While in the other end there are energies that are tradable and stackable Those are the ones you will use to create useful things but you can also use them to get bonus experience in divination like I will explain later. Okay, so how do you actually collect stuff with divination? The very first step is to go near a rift and harvest the springs that will be around it to collect memories and energy. Once your inventory will be full of memories, you want to transfer them um, in the rift. So convert them, there are three options. The first one to the left is to gain energy, so basically you will get more energy but you will receive really crappy experience the second option is that you will only get experience your amount of energy which is takeable won't move and finally there's the gain experience plus that you will get bonus experience but it will cost energy the amount of energy it will cost is far more than the amount of energy you can collect yourself. So if you want to always use the third option for the best experience rate, you will need to buy energy from other players. When training, there are a couple few twists. The first one is the energy per siphon ratio. So from level 1 to 55, every time you will click a whips, you will only get one energy per siphon. While if you are level 55 to 75, you will get two energies. And finally, if you're over level 75, you'll get three energy per siphon. So this has a lot to do with the GP per hour you can make but also the experience rate because if you get more energy you can use the third option more often for example there is also something called enriched memories so every time you get a memory there's a small chance that it will be enriched and when you will deposit it into the rift you will get double experience so the amount of enriched memory is random except if you harvest them from an enriched spring so for an enriched spring every memory collected will be enriched so it's kind of like a double experience spring so those spawn every 20 minutes and they're very good i highly recommend you to keep an eye on them 
Another very useful thing is the Chronicle Fragments. So those also spawn randomly, however if there are more people there will be more spawns. So what they are great for is not really for divination experience, even though they do give them, it's because they give insane hunter experience. At level 99 it's nearly 1k experience each catch. Um, so when you get 10 of them in your inventory, you cannot catch more of them. You'll need to train them for divination experience. There are two spots to do that. The first one is in the Gothic Lair. You can simply use a sixth ring to be teleported there. It's the fastest way to do it. Or if you haven't completed the quest while Gothic sleeps, you will need to go to Draenor and you will also get a penalty of 25% divination experience. And finally, there are Boons of Energy, and those are great because they give 10% bonus experience for a certain spring. So I highly recommend you to get them. Um, so when you will level up and reach a level where you need to harvest another type of energy, you will want to craft one by clicking the energy in your inventory. Um, they cost quite a lot of energy, so just make sure to save some of them. Okay, so now in this clip I will do an overview of everything I've mentioned in the basics. So right now I'm in the Draenor Rift, the first place where you will train. I'll cover that more in detail later. But all around the rift there are springs. By clicking on it you will get memories, as you can see on the screen. After that I just click on the rift, I selected the first option. I get more energy when I lose my memories. Second option, more experience, but no energy. And finally, third option, I lose energy but get even more experience. Um, also, when training normally, there's a chance that the Chronicle Fragment will pop out. I can collect it for 1k Hunter experience if I'm level 99. Right now, I already have 10 of them, so I can end them in. If you don't have completed the quest while getting sleep, you want to talk with this guild. Otherwise, you want to use the circuit to be teleported to the Codex Lair, I call it that way, and use it on the monument. After that, you can use the Weave option of the energy to create your boon. Right now, I haven't I've already made mine, so you cannot see there, but it should be the last option. So simply create the boon and you will get 10% bonus experience for the next um, energy. Okay, so now I'll cover how to actually train divination, because there are three, well actually four main ways to do it. Um, so the first one is to use the first option, or the second option, or the third option, or a mix of the two and the third option. So let's cover the first one using the third option all the time. Um, it's by far the best way to get experience, 8% bonus experience compared to using your own energy, that we'll cover later. But in order to always use the third option, you will need to buy the energy from other players, so this can be quite expensive at the higher level. Second option is to always use option 2, so you will accumulate a lot of energy and what you want to do is to simply sell them to other players. Um, this can be very good money but you will get less experience, 13k, not 13% less experience. And finally you can do a mix of 2 and 3, um, so there is no really advantage or disadvantage for this. Um, so when you have energy you use the third option, when you don't you use the second option. Okay, so I made a little short for level 1 to 99 with all the experience rates. Um, so from level 1 to 10, it's Draenor, then Falador, Dixite, Seers, Relica, Karenja, Mobilizing Army, Canifis, my training area, Dragon Toot, Sofanem, and Poison Waste. Just want to tell you that Sofanem is in the desert, and it's kind of annoying because it's like the springs are far from the rift, so it might be a good idea to go for the Dragon Toot Island all the way to level 75. I still got more experience in the desert, um, but the experience is very small and if you catch Chronicle Fragments, then I would highly recommend to, to go for the Dragon Tooth, because it's faster banking. All those experience rates assume that you siphon 1.1k um, per, per hour, and the ratio between getting nothing from a siphon and getting an enrich or getting a regular memory is 3, uh, actually 2, 3 and 6. Overall if you use to if you choose to use your own energy it will take you approximately 170 hours to get level 99. You can also choose to buy the energy from other players. Overall it will save you 15 hours but it will cost you 65 million GP overall. And finally you can choose to sell the energy, it will take a little bit more time, 185 hours, but you will make a profit of about 120 million GP, which is quite good. 
If you want to know what's the best option for yourself, you can click the link in the description to go check out my calculator. Uh, you simply need to enter the amount of cash you can make per hour. It will do a lot of calculation and tells you if it's better to use your own, buy or sell for each of the different levels. Okay, so now in this section of the guide, I will explain how to get to the 12 different locations where you can train divination. Don't forget you can click the top right skip button to go check out the next method. Okay, so the first place where you want to go is in Draenor. You can simply use an Amulet of Glory, then run south, then east, and you will get there. Otherwise, you can use Om Teleport, it also works. In order to go to the Falador Rift, what I recommend is to simply use Om Teleport to Falador, then run east. It's a very fast teleport, so don't forget to catch your critical fragments, they are really worth to get. After that, there's the Dyke Side Rift, and the fastest way to get there is to simply use a Dyke Side Pendant after you completed the quest Dyke Side. Otherwise, you can simply use Varrock Teleport, then run east, then south. At level 30, you will want to go to the Sears Rift, and the fastest way to get there is to use a Camelot Teleport, then run south. You can also use Om Teleport to the Sears Village, and then also simply run south. At level 40, you will want to go to the Relica Rift, and the fastest way to get there is to use a Slayer Ring, the third option, Relica Slayer Caves, and then simply run southwest. Another way is to use a Ferro Ring, the code is AJR, or teleport to house to Relica. At level 50, you will want to train at the Karemja Rift, simply use your Wicked Hood and choose the teleport to the Nature Rune Atlar, otherwise you can use a Taibo one Eye teleport that you can buy in the Grand Exchange. At level 60, you will want to train at the Mobilizing Army, and this is by far the fastest one. Simply use the Mobilizing Army option from your Ring of Dueling, and then run north, and it will be there. So it's very, very fast. At level 70, you will want to train at the Canifice Rift, and the fastest way to get there is to use a Slayer Ring and to the Slayer Tower, and then run east. Otherwise, you can use Om Teleport to Canifice and run west. At level 80, you will want to train at the Mage Training Area. And the fastest way to do it is to use um, a Fairy Ring. And the way I recommend to get to a Fairy Ring is by using a Slayer Ring to the Relica Caves. And you want to enter the code BIP and you will be teleported right north of it. So simply run south and you will get there. Otherwise, you can use a Ring of Dueling to the Dual Arena and run north. At level 85, you will want to train at the Dragon Tooth. And to do that, you will need to use Ectophile and then simply run south. Don't forget to refill your Ectophile, otherwise you might get screwed. Another way to get there is to use Om Teleport. So when you will be in the Port Fastamis, you want to run to this little guy there and choose the Travel option to be teleported to the Dragon Tooth Island. At level 90, you will unlock the Sofanem Rift in the desert. The fastest way to get there is to use a Farian Scepter, the first option, and then simply run southeast. Don't forget that there is a fence to quickly exit the city. Um, it's kind of annoying because um, you will need to have something to protect from the desert heat. So an uh, enchanted water terra or water skin with humidify from Lenor Diplomacy. Uh, you can also bring a desert outfit and a slayer ring to get there to Sumana is also useful. And finally, at level 95, all the way to level 99 and more, you will train at the Poison Waste Rift. And to get there, you want to use a Ring of Dueling, Mobilizing Army, Spirit Tree to the Poison Waste, and don't forget to bring a crossbow with a Mithril Grapple to be, to be able to actually get to this little island. Otherwise, you can use a Ferro Ring, BKP, or a Ring of Dueling to the Sea Wars place. Okay, so this is a little overview of all the different items you'll need from your level 1 to 99 divination quest. Um, so first of all, an enhanced walk twist stick if you have one, the 6th age circuit if you have one, Farion Scepter, Mithril Drapple, I really recommend to get multiple of them because they can break, a crossbow, you can use a regular one but I highly recommend to get an often one so you can wear the enhanced walk twist stick and the crossbow at the same time, saving you an inventory spot. There's also the Dick Side Pendant, Amulet of Glory, Ectophile, Ring of Sling, Ring of Dueling, Wicked Hood, Enhanced. Uh, water Terra, Water Skin with Humidify, if you don't have 
Daywater Terra, Desert Robs, and finally Camelot Teleports. Okay, so now we'll talk about the rewards of Training Divination. So with all the energy you will have collected or bought at the Grand Exchange, you can craft really great stuff. The first type of stuff is Portent. So they are Portent of Restoration, Item Protect, and Lifesaver. So Portent of Restoration, what they do is that they will heal you automatically when your health will be less than 50%. So this is kind of useful. There's also Item Protection. If you die, you will save one item, one more item. Normally it's three, but with that it will be four. And finally Lifesaver, when you will die, you will revive with 25% of your life. So this is useful for dangerous situation but it doesn't work for PvP. In order to use those effects you will simply need to have your percent in your inventory. In the other end for the sign that you can craft with energy you will need to have them into your pocket slot. And there are four types. First of all there's the respite um, which will increase the timer of your gravestone. There's the portent um, that when you will collect resources when training skill for example fishing, the fish you will collect will be directly teleported to your bank. So this can be very good. Um, unfortunately, most of the skill now today are trained um, with dungeon ring in the C2 fishing and woodcutting. Um, the only place where I would actually recommend to use them is if you're cooking, um, not cooking, but fishing rock tails. That's pretty much the only place that's actually useful. There's also item protection and lifesaver which work exactly like the pertinent version. If you want more information about how to craft a portent so the items needed, the level and experience you will receive, you can simply click the link in the description. There is also another thing you can do with your energy and it's called transmutation. So you take a bunch of items, use energy on them and it will they will all convert into one better item. Um, in my opinion, they are not really worth it because the experience rate is really bad and the profit is not really that great. Um, if you want to have um, um, a list of all those you can simply click the link in the description there all the prices will update automatically so you know which one is good and which one is bad in real time and finally there's the divine locations which are by far the best divination reward so every day you can create a skilling plot using energy and by putting it on the crown it will last between 20 and 30 seconds you can harvest resources from it and it's a great source of experience and money i highly recommend to go to a world like world 2 at the reset time if you want to collect all your 250 resources per day it will be easier that way there are six main divine locations. First of all, for Hunter, there's the box. Every time you will collect something from a Hunter box, it will take five resources. So you can only collect 50 times from a Hunter box. For the farming patch tree, it's eight resources per, per pick. Um, for woodcutting, there's the U and the magic divine location. And finally, for mining, there's the adamant and the runic one. Okay, so this is the experience, GP, and time for the six main divine location. Personally, I would recommend to get either the U or the Magic Trees um, because they are very good experience-wise and GP-wise, especially for the Magic Trees. Okay, so I'll show you how to actually use the divine location. So simply click on the energy, select the divine new tree, for example, then simply create it, then you want to place it. I will recommend to go to world two during reset time because there will be a lot of people and you can use um, the divine location of other players um, to get resources and experience. You don't need the divination level to do that. Um, so after placing the divine location, you will get experience, lumberjack and the gold mining um, all mining suit will boost the amount of experience you will get and if other players use your divine location you will also get another version of the item so yeah it's already the end of the video i hope you liked it and don't forget to click the annotation on the screen if you want to check out my chronicle fragment video where i get over 500k experience per hour and hunter while training divination also you can click the other annotation to go check out my calculators including divination on my brand new website reningchain.com and finally subscribe for more epic guides like this one.